Dolby's been long associated with audio. We've innovated in the cinema space for over 40 years now. And we're in a unique position that practically no other company occupies. Part of our research effort that's been going on over the past few years was how can we move sound beyond what we've been able to do today uh, and what would that look like? So when we look at the evolution of sound in film and cinema, we started off with mono, single speaker in the middle of the room behind the screen. Then we moved to stereo. We added two more speakers and created two more channels. So now we had a dedicated dialogue track and then two additional speakers the left and right that allowed us to create a better spread and sense of imaging inside the room. Then it was the evolution and introduction of surround sound that we were able to actually put sound all around the audience. That surround configuration initially started as a mono channel, so that we were using it as a single source that we sent everything for surround into the audience. Then with 5.1, we were able to split the room in half and now have a left surround and a right surround to allow us to have more sense of movement of sound across the audience. With 7.1, we split the room again into four, so now we had left, right, back wall left, back wall right. So now we had four surround zones instead of two, and that allowed us even more definition. Logic would make sense that the next progression would be like a 9.1 or an 11.1 or even a 13.1. But the feedback that we got from content creators was it wasn't gonna be good enough. And that's when we knew we had to make a more bolder step in moving forward. So what if we could start again? What if we could go back and completely redefine how we bring the surround sound experience to audiences? So what Dolby's bringing now is the next generation surround format for the industry. With a channel-based solution as we have today, if we look at how I move something around the audience, in 5.1, we had two zones. So if I wanted to create a sensation of movement, it's either here or here. It goes from one side of the room to the other. It doesn't really create that sensation of movement. With 7.1, I can now be on the side, then behind, then behind, and then to the side again. So it gives you the sensation of movement, but it doesn't have that precision of movement. So the fundamental shift in what's happening is that now we're migrating away from channels. The ability to move a sound through the room now with objects creates this precision movement, which is referred to as a pan through array. Now the helicopter has that fluid movement of hitting speaker number one, speaker number two, speaker number three, speaker number four, and then having that precision as it goes around me in the auditorium. And now by placing speakers over the audience, we can truly create that immersive sound field that now makes it feel like the helicopter is literally buzzing over your head. Overhead surrounds, for the first time, adds that upper hemisphere of sound that we've been missing from films. With the next change of technology that can come to mixers, I think the things that really excites them, especially from a creative point of view, is the flexibility for the first time of being able to unmarry sound. When a film is mixed today, it's made up of many elements and then all those elements are baked in. You can't go back and pull the ingredient out. But with objects, you could now go back in, remove the object. So if the object was a music soundtrack, we could go in, pull it out and replace it and have more finite control and precision in the reproduction of sound. With channel-based solutions as they exist today, one of the problems that we've always faced is how we deliver all of these different formats. We take 7.1 as an example. Then 7.1 is mixed throughout the entire process of a film. At the very end of that process, the mixers will then do another creative pass to take it down to 5.1 because we have multiple playback systems in the world. Now, when they go to a theater, the only control that the mixer has is volume level that the movie will play at and simplistic delay that controls the surrounds. What Dolby's proposing is now they can mix in the biggest mode possible. This now goes out as a single deliverable file, carrying metadata and information that will accurately reflect what the mixer wanted. This dramatically simplifies the entire process. The next generation surround format will have all of this great intelligence 
and in essence adapts itself to any playback system that's out there. Now we can literally author once and then optimize anywhere. As a moviegoer, you already realize as you go to your local complex, every room is different. There's size, geometry, stadium seating, and if you're putting surround speakers in there, it creates some challenges as to how you can position them so that you can get uniform coverage throughout the seating area. As we deliver this next technology, that is where it really shines by being able to accurately portray in all these different room sizes, geometries, speaker feeds. It's a radical shift from anything we've ever done before. For theater owners, their primary concern as always is, how can I get more people to come to my theater? But now, with this better technology of surround sound and sound over the audiences, that now gives them something to leverage bringing people back into the theater. With Dolby's new technology, we're literally building a pipeline for the industry, and we're going to be future-proofing the exhibitor by providing them this technology, which will sit with them for a significant period of time. So what we're doing is really a huge fundamental shift in the way audio is not only mixed, but also perceived inside your theaters. And it's really a huge change from 5.1 to 7.1. That was only an incremental change. And that what we're giving you the capability of providing now, it's enormous. The ability to have pinpoint precision, the ability to have these sounds wherever they need to be and over the audience for the first time is a real differentiator that hasn't happened before. It's all about the excitement of what audiences will experience, but also just the amount of excitement that you get from a content creator when you walk them through some of the things that we've done and seeing how excited they were about this, then, then that's definitely worth it.